Aloha mai kako. My name is Alexia Akbai. I have the pleasure and responsibility, Kuliana, to be the co-chair of the Huli Endorsement Committee again this election cycle. And I'm here to explain a little bit more about the behind the scenes at Huli and all of the efforts and processes that we have to ensure more fair and transparent elections for Hawaii Island. So there's three critical um, functions of the endorsement committee that I'm going to explain to give you a better idea of our process. The first portion is a lot of pre-work leading up to the election. So we keep an eye on all of the Hawaii County Council seats, the Senate, and also the representatives uh, that are currently in office and determine and grade how well they're doing on the Huli platform. So looking at Native Hawaiian rights, land use, climate justice, uh, affordable housing, and um, good jobs as well, the Huli platform. And we see how well they voted over the past couple of years and if they're doing a good job or if we might want to look for and solicit others from the community to potentially challenge them um, because they might have more Pono values. So if there are seats that are either opening up because someone turned out or if there are current incumbents that are not doing a good job, we will go out into the community and ask around and see if there's anyone who might be a good challenger for those seats. Then once folks have actually registered to run for office, that's when the second portion comes in. And that's when most of the endorsement committee work happens. So we host 45 minute interviews with every candidate that's running and that wishes to participate in these interviews for a Hawaii County seat at the council, the house or the state uh, Senate. And we host every candidate. Um, and ask them a number of questions, again, across the Huli platform. So about 20 to 30 questions we fit in within this 45-minute period. And those interviews are live streamed onto both YouTube and Facebook and can be available to the public at any time following the interview. So that's just a public source of information. When you go to the voting office and you see all the names on the ballots, those are people that you can find live interviews to on our site beforehand to inform who you're voting for on election day. And then the third step is following the uh, interviews. We actually go one step further and we make our own endorsements. So this is an endorsement that's made in combination of the uh, physical or the interviews that we do ourselves, as well as that individual's track record in the community. So if they're an incumbent, if they're currently serving in office, how well did they vote? Or if they're new to office, what type of um, history do they have on our island and in our communities? Have they exhibited Pono values, leadership, and responsibility in the past? And do we think that they would be good candidates and good representatives of the values that the, the Huli platform represents? So those are the three portions. We seek out new candidates in the community, encourage them, support them to run for office. We interview everyone that's running for office if they'd like a public interview and make that available to the community prior to election day. And then we also form a slate of endorsed candidates of Huli candidates that if you believe in our platform, then we make it easy for you to pick who you're going to vote for in these elections through the endorsement, uh, official endorsement. Um, mahalo for your time. And hopefully these resources can be helpful to you and to all of us as we seek more transparent and clear elections that actually benefit our communities and the people who live in Hawaii. Thank you. Mahalo.